to you by no network and these girls are absolutely no one but hello <laughs> welcome back oh my god we're here happy new year it's the backyard bitches <laughs> and as you can see we, we have a new setup. A good setup. I mean, we tried. No, we it's good. <laughs> I'm so excited. For people who aren't watching and you guys are listening, you might be able to tell that the audio is hopefully better than fucking so well, much better. It should be. It, Fuck me. I hope so. Freaking hell. It took us two and a half hours to figure this shit out. <laughs> we'll fill three. it. But anyway. Yeah. Or three, three, <gasps> <hours>. <laughs> three hours. Oh, three yeah, hours. Three hours. That was yeah, a long we time. Like three hours. Fuck, it kind of went quick. It went really it did. fast. It did. Though. I was it just did. so tired by the end of it. Yeah. No wonder you were tired. I was wondering why you said that, but it took us three hours. Yeah. yeah. It was a lot of brain work. Mm. Yeah. Well, thank you, Philip, yeah. and Monique's boyfriend, Thanks, for I'm helping stodgy. us set this up. Follow him on Twitch. That's why it took us so long, because it's so hard to do. Yeah. Especially with a Mac. Sorry. You know, I've come to nah, the Mac's conclusion. Too confusing this after part. the after my one shits itself, I'm not getting a Mac again. I don't yeah. know. You don't want it. No. Not after yesterday. You fucking serious? It yeah. Take three hours to set up audio. Fuck monkey. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. Re- well, Philip said he did six hours setting up his. I feel oh, like because yeah, MacBooks are, aren't MacBooks m- are more built for this kind of. But MacBooks thing. are built for digital editing. Yeah. That's why I got it. They just make it so difficult. Yeah, like this could be an easier option. But does Mac have isn't. microphones? Maybe we should have bought a MacBook. That's also another thing. Like you can't go anywhere else except and Apple to get grow. it fixed. Is that a thing? And I might. I'm not surprised. And I might. <laughs> well, did you just I'm, make something? Yeah. I'm not surprised. I'm surprised. Steve that they Jobs. Don't I was about to say, one. Steve Jobs hit us up. You can't claim that shit. <laughs> TM. TM. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Steve Jobs is dead. Is he? Yeah. What? He died. Who the fuck works Who runs for Apple? Apple now? I don't know. Where's Steve, Steve Jobs Jr.? Steve Jobs Jr.? Steve Jobs Jr.? <laughs> <laughs> that would be the easiest. Who runs Apple? Hey Siri. Oh yeah, I could have just fucking done that. Oh, Who runs Apple? Tim Cook. Oh yeah. CEO. T- Tim Cook. Tim Cook. TM. Yeah. TM. <laughs> what does don't the TM? Oh, trademark. 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 That's next to my Instagram name, Emma TM. I don't know. Is, Is it? it? Yeah. I never <laughs> I even noticed. Could not. I literally could not think of anything else. Well, yeah. Okay. I know. Well, anyway, I guess what we'll be talking about is, I guess we're talking about our Christmas break. We're talking about what we want to do this year, like our goals, um, what we want to do on the podcast and everything. Yeah. We're just going to wing it this episode. So yeah. this is like fresh shit right here. Yeah. We don't have any topics. We're just going straight off the back for you guys. Mm. Well, we actually haven't even, I feel like, hung out like this in so long. Yeah. Because we've been so busy over the holidays. So I feel like you guys are just going to be People probably think in. we're not actually friends or something. <laughs> like they're just like, I we know. actually <laughs> don't. And hang when out. we do hang out, we're at doing something we're doing something yeah. Yeah. surrounded by so many other people Wait, like, yeah. you, know, you can't just talk about your life because yeah. everyone is there yeah exactly opens their mouths anyway let's go with emma yes i guess let's see chrissy break didn't do anything a lot really which is a surprise to me but it was all like, the main things i think we were together yeah yeah, yeah the main things like new year's eve and stuff like we obviously events. got put yeah we obviously got put into a lockdown a ish in a type of way because corona came no back. restrictions and shit no like a festivals or anything yeah so yeah. all of our new year's eve stuff got cancelled and everything and this was my first christmas break since <laughs> i was in like high school so I had 10 days off in like seven years, which was amazing. I know, and I was, was so like, happy for you. I know. And honestly, like, I, did, I don't know, I can't even remember what I did, but I did a lot of nothing at the same time because I just loved doing nothing. Like, just not doing anything was my favorite thing. I feel like these breaks, so you have to have a mixture of it because otherwise you just do shit like constantly. Yeah. Like, I would hate, like, it's fun when you do stuff during the day, but how fast does your day go when you actually do stuff during the day? Like, mm. it's fine to do stuff, but it's like, I like, also, I'm like, I just want to hurry up and get home and just fucking be like, yeah, yeah. potato. Like, I, yeah, there's nothing that I love more than just laying in my bed and doing nothing. Yeah. Which is so funny. Um, and then, yeah, like, yeah. I, it's all a blur to me now. Yeah. And it was only like last Eve week. Christmas has been what? It's already the 10th of Jan. Yeah. yeah. Christmas Eve. Did you do any? Did you end up seeing Maddie? No. What the fuck did I do? I don't know. I can't even re- like, I literally can't even it's remember. It's been a long, it's been a while since Christmas. It's yeah. been a while. Because we, one of oh, our. Oh, no, because Christmas Eve is when all those masks thing, that mask Christmas literally Eve that shit came out. Oh, four weeks yeah, ago li- on Friday. Yeah, literally. And so that, yeah. oh my God. It went so Holy fast. Holy fuck. Um, yeah, so I think Christmas Eve, when I was meant to hang out, went, meant to go to the kite and everything, but then like obviously everything got cancelled. Oh, and then so shit. I was like, okay, well, I'm not doing yeah. anything then. And I think I just hung out with Katrina and Amy, I'm pretty sure. Mm. Oh, you called her. 
<laughs> but yeah, that was we. Our friend had a Christmas party, Christmas yeah. Eve party, as he usually does. Yeah, that didn't change. He did call the police anyway. We no, were we... allowed to have it. It was fine. Yeah, um, it wasn't illegal. No, promise. yes, and it was actually so good. First time, I think last time we were on the potty. Um, we spoke about I've always had a fight at Jesse's house. Yeah, with Anton. First year I haven't. Well done. Thank well you. done. We did well. We're thriving over Very here. Very proud. <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah, Chrissy. And pretty much we had a girls' pool day actually. Oh, that was yeah. Good. On the twenty oh seventh, which got wild. I don't know if we posted any videos. I know, but if you've seen the photo, I think it's I've of got, us in the pool. Yeah, I think I've got some videos on my phone and stuff. Um, some of them we cannot share. No, I can't even. It Unless got. It just got. It went zero to one hundred hella quick. I feel. It really it fucking did. Yeah, yeah, it, it really did. As soon as us girls are left alone with I drinks at like, someone's house, it always just goes got the from scab off my elbow from when I like tried to do the handstand and I. Freaking, did you do a handstand? Yeah, do you remember? Yeah. It was like that card, and it was like do a handstand for five seconds or take a shot. And I tried to do a handstand, and don't do a handstand when you're drunk. When. Like, we were sitting at the table. <laughs> I'm very offended that no one remembers this, to be honest. And I was, I, and I feel like Man, I was the most you, fucked out of all of you. Yeah, it was like, in you my know, house? So it was like, you know, when we sit down in the pool area at the table, and yeah. then you just, go, it's like fucking patio, like right there. And I'm pretty sure you were like Surely right next to me. someone's got a video. I don't think no. anyone does, but literally like I try to do it and like my arms just give way and I just fucking lose <laughs> on the floor. Like, don't do a handstand when you're drunk. It's actually impossible. I'm so sorry. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, and like my oh, elbow, I think my I elbow remember. was bleeding. I think I remember. Yeah, I got yeah. injured. I'm suing. I feel like <laughs> I'm suing. I feel like I can picture it, but mm. only because I can just picture you trying to do your handstand. Yeah, not the fact that I, I can not really remember. do that. That's why I thought I was really confident, mm. but did not work out that way. Yeah. No, and then we well, ended up coming back no, to mine. That's you, Casey. <laughs> Honestly, that That's day we could have started at OnlyFans and we that was wouldn't fun. have to quit our job. Because I think that was the Monday, wasn't it? It was the 27th, so whatever day that was. Yeah, I think it was the Monday. It was the Monday. It was it nice was. just to not to do something and not have to worry about going to work or anything the next day on a weekday. It just hits different. It, it does. It really does hit different. It fucking does. Well, then we did nothing for two days. So we did that and then the 28th, 29th we had off. I worked on the 30th and mm. then we had New Year's Eve. Yeah. Which was another house party, which was also <sighs> legal. I'm yes, I thought you said illegal. Yeah. No, no, like, everyone no. keeps getting cancelled for having COVID parties, but we were allowed. Yeah, yeah we were allowed. We're, no like, one paid for anything. It was ca- it was just a party. Yeah, it was literally just a freaking party. Like, yeah, th- events got cancelled, but they didn't say anything about house parties or no. gatherings. No, and we asked the police. Yeah. Yeah. So suck them bitches. <laughs> Snitches it was, get stitches. It was insane. We had... Um, so, because a lot of the events got cancelled, we had the... One of, there was a DJ, his name's St. Quinn. I don't know if anyone's heard of him, but he oh made God. a post on social media and one of um, the people invited sent it to Anton and was like, oh my God, you should message him and totally get him to come to the party. Was it for free or did Yes, what? totally for that, free. Because he had so all good. his equipment and like they had- He booked, was already set up. Like he already was set up. He's like, well, I need to use what I've got. Otherwise yeah. he would just be sitting around and like he's paid for all this shit. Yeah. So him and he was like, I'm going to do a party bus tour. So like go around Perth DJing at people's parties for free. Like we didn't pay him anything and like for an hour a set. It yeah. was it how, was lit. It was, was so fucking good. lit. Like New Year's like I think New Year's Eve at Anton's house is probably one of the best New Year's Eves ever. Like it's ever. Like it, it probably chops party, off I'm all Yeah, you. it's the house party yeah. vibes. Because like party vibes. events, you know, you're at an event and you're just surrounded by fucking whack cunts. Like sorry, <laughs> it's my language. Um I'll try not and swear so much on the podcast this year. <laughs> probably won't end up going that way. No. But it was just like, you know, you're out in a freaking event and you're just surrounded by a bunch of randoms mm-hmm. and it's like you're losing your friends, you can't hear shit, you're just like and then you have to trek it home and then yeah. by that time everyone's tired too tired for kick-ons or keen for kick-ons, but not everyone goes back to kick-ons, so yeah. it's like have a house party. And Anton, out of the kindness of his heart, <laughs> made so we went to go to something called a block party and that was in Frio in Esplanade. And um, so instead of block party Frio, he did block party Hammy Hill. Hammy Hill block party. Yeah. He made wristbands. He yeah. made posters. He had a phone pool party. How did you just get those wristbands made so quickly? Yeah, Honestly, and the poster cousin, as well. Because like that cousin. big poster. Because she, um, oh, she does marketing. She does marketing. And so she's she, got all we that should, connections and shit. We should get her to make us a backyard banter banner. Oh. Do you know what that poster was? Mm-hmm. It was pieces of paper sticky glued to cardboard. Mm. 
could <laughs> definitely do that. Yeah. I'm pretty but, yeah. sure because I had touched it. That's what yeah. it was. Yeah. And then like I literally had even like some friends even asking like, what did you go to? Because was that an event? Because we had a photographer and everything. Like, well, look, that guy came with the DJ. The photographer, yeah. Oh, fuck The photographer yeah. came with the DJ. That's sick. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah, whole crew. yeah, it was in like it was lit like i forgot half the night and i thought i was i remembered all of it and i was just like because i was like oh i didn't get that fucked up because <laughs> like mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Did. <laughs> we, we all did though yeah it yeah. was a good time it was but a- to be honest i remember everything so do i yeah i don't remember shit <sighs> or taking the piss out of jesse and his fucking sockets if you're watching this don't remember i don't that. remember that yeah remember he said it to me on new year's day and he was like do you know what you did yesterday emma and i was like what he was like you were taking the sh- piss out of me from wearing sockets. Like, you were being so mean. I was like, I am so I sorry. Because, <laughs> yeah, like, when I am drunk, I will just go ham on yeah. anybody. Not, like, in a mean way, but, like, I get very sarcastic mm. and just, like, I will just take the piss out wow. of you. Now, and if you can't take it, then that's your fault. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it's not my problem. Or maybe you clearly don't know Emma if you can't take it. Yeah. Sorry, well, Jesse. <laughs> he's never going to wear sockets again. No. no. He was wearing ankle sockets, socks on I'm you. sorry, but sockets are so uncomfortable. It's not the fact that he was wearing the sockets. It was He was wearing the sockets without shoes on. So I'm like, you either uh, wear uh, no shoes and no socks or you wear the sockets with your shoes on, but you can't walk around with sockets on your feet. Where it's did just, you take your shoes off? I don't know. Where was I? I just remember seeing yeah, his feet at some stage. Thing. I don't remember this whole thing. Yeah. I thought I remembered everything. I just All remember, I remember yeah. was, we might not have been with her though. True. Probably. All I remember is him saying it on New Year's Day, which I'm also surprised and we then, even made it to. Yeah, and New Year's Day he had like the high socks. The <laughs> yeah, next day. He's never going he back. is traumatized. <laughs> Oh, but yeah, so bad. <laughs> we also did New Year's Day at Anton's because, yeah, like, yeah. the next oh, day, so last minute though, so last, so last minute. minute. Like Anton, Anton, honestly, bless his soul, cleaned the entire house and then mm. went to bed at nine o'clock in the morning. Fuck that. Yeah, well, but like, also, New Year's Day was always meant to happen. It was always meant to be a two-day thing. Yeah, but I honestly think everyone just went so hard New Year's Indeed. Eve. That we kind of, it was like an unspoken word that if New Year's Day was going to happen, it wasn't going to happen until like fucking four o'clock in the afternoon. That's exactly Did what you? And we did get there until like what? Five? five. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I, I fell, woke up, fell asleep, woke up at 12, then died in bed, which is probably the same as everyone else did. And then Casey was like, come over. I was and like, like committing yeah, hard. Yeah, like, like, like we want to go, but we're like, we also want to I was so on the fence for ages. And then Jazzy messaged me and she's like, are you going to go? And then I was like, yeah. Fuck it. Yeah. Yes. I had to get my time over. But yeah, glad I did go. Like, same. so glad it we went. Fun. Because like, at first we were all like, uh, yeah. can't except do me this. and Emma finished at what 11 30 you didn't go to bed till 3 30 in the morning yeah yeah i no. was gonna come back because like there was like a part like i came home but that was also when i hurt my ankle as well <laughs> i was like i don't know if i just can't sleep because of the pain or if i'm just wired no, right now like i'm not gonna lie and i was like do i go back do i not go back <laughs> like do i stay here but then i tried to walk and i was like i ain't going nowhere you, so you ain't going anywhere. i ain't going nowhere like new year's day was the best because it was only like a s- intimate yeah, it was way Little smaller. people, because, mm. like, I think no one realised that Anton might have, was might have maybe going to do something New Year's Day, so everyone, like Monique said, went hard. Yeah. So once Anton and I finished cleaning, and, like, because some of Anton's friends came over to help, and Anton's sister's friends were there, and we're like, fuck it, like, let's just get everyone over. Sorry, yeah. everyone. Um, Let's just get everyone over again. We got another DJ, like, one of Anton's friends is a DJ. He just did it, like, for fun. Yeah, he Diesel Productions. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mm. And then we all, they came over and we played primary school games. So we oh, played, my God. That was the best. We played Red Light, Green Light. Um, Duck, 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 Goose. Goose. The bulldog game where you yep. got to turn around and freeze. Mm-hmm. Is that what you call no, it? No, that's, that's red, red light, green light, green light, you dummy. But it's also, it's also, it's also, it's also called something else. We used yeah. to call it red light, green light yeah. in school. Yeah, because that, light, yeah, it's, it's squid games. Squid games. Yeah. Right, sorry. But it was called, called English it, Bulldogs. Yeah, it's called something yeah. bulldog, bulldog. And then we did, what else did we do? Yeah. I'll get it. Um, Chasey, there was Chasey for a bit. There there. was Chasey, Chasey. and then we flips. People were doing backflips. Oh, that um drinking game that we played, that was so much fun. Oh, Chandelier, that was yeah, fun. Chandelier is probably like my new favorite Same. game. I uh, hands down, yeah, that was a good one. God, I just want to redo that day. We're one hundred percent playing that on Sunday. Okay, sure. Mm. Have you booked it off work yet? No, I don't know if I will. Or book half. Just go in late. I can just work from home if anything. But yeah, yeah I don't know. So you got your period or something? <laughs> oh my god, they watch this. <laughs> I'm so. <laughs> Casey, no, they won't mind. School. We'll just see. I reckon I'll be fine. I'm gonna try not to get so obliterated. Well, yeah, obviously, but like. Get- Give us a little drive. It's fine. Everything's fine. I mean, well, I think it's like because it's Amy's birthday on Sunday. Oh no, wait, you literally live next door. You're fine. You can just walk yeah, by. no, exactly. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. I just don't know if I'm gonna. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, what else? I think that's our. Then that's our break. Because I went yeah. to Amanda for the week and then came back back like on the weekend. Yeah. Mm. So no, and no, none of you really did anything. No, I really just chilled I with Amy and Katrina work. and stuff. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, mm. I love that. I went back to work on Wednesday last week. Where are we? Yeah, Where are we? yeah, yeah I remember it last Tuesday. week. Mm. Wow, I can't believe we went, you went back to work so early. I know, as soon as I got there, I'm like, wow, it feels like I didn't even have a holiday. Yeah, that's how I I'm felt. sad. I still feel like so that. So sad. Yeah. It's always the way, though. When they, That's why the Christmas break is always so hectic. Yeah. And I'm so fucking bored. Like, it's just so boring at the moment. Really? At yeah. work? Yeah. It's just like... It's just, is it quiet or something? Yeah. It's just like the workload is just like... It's just... It's just boring. It's just yeah. not, not what I'm normally doing. And I'm just bored out of my mind. And I'm like, wow, I just don't want to be Is it because no one's been at work or... I think so. I think everyone's just starting to get in the groove of things, but they've taken me off this one job that I was normally... It's just really annoying at the moment because there's all these new kids coming in and it's just like they're fucking putting these cunts on these jobs. No offence. And then um, it's just like I'm just... Ugh. I can't really explain it because it's just so hard to explain. I'm just stuck on this thing called the blast pad, which I'm doing blasting, which is fine. I know how to do it and I like doing it, but because this guy that used to work on the blast pad that used to like supervisor they'd be like the team leader he left for a new job so then like this other guy that's taken over and he's turned into like a full like power's gone to his head pretty much yeah. and he's turned into a nazi and i'm like i just can't deal with this human being he's really like this 50 year old man he's got like three teeth down the bottom fucking oh, drinks so de- he drinks about seven dare ice coffees yeah he oh well he's, he's a team like... he's a crew leader yeah, he's not a supervisor he's a crew leader but it's just like oh my god all he does is just talk shit about everybody like just slams everyone mm. into the ground it's just like shut the fuck up like how <laughs> miserable are you yeah no, I'm just like, I'm just numb. So today I was just on the gurney the whole entire time because I was like, I, I need to do some work because I can't do nothing. I hate doing nothing. So I'm just bored at the moment. I'm very, yeah. very bored. It's the worst when work's boring because yeah. like you just sit there and you're thinking about all the yeah. things you could be doing at home, like cleaning, washing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then like there's no shade on the blast pad. So it, we're in the heat. It's so fucking hot. Oh. We can't have our phones. We can't have anything anywhere. Like mm. it's just, <laughs> I'm just bored. I'm all very right. bored. I'm like, I'm not being challenged and it's really annoying me right now. Okay. Mm. You need to do the HR. I know. I was going to go to the driving center today, but this driving center, I hate it. I know. Yeah. yeah. It's rough. I think I need to print off a form because I want to, I'm swapping my auto to manual and I don't know how to do that. You also have to fucking do that. You have to learn too. manual. Yeah. Oh, I know how to drive. Oh, I learned cool. at work, which is funny. But yeah. well, it's easy, hey? So easy. Yeah, it's, it's so hard. freaking easy. Yeah. Honestly, anyone listening, get your manual license. Yeah, get your manual it's license. Don't do your auto. It's really not that hard. It's not. Mm. I have my auto license. No, but you can yeah, drive. Yeah, I've got my auto license. But once you learn manual, you, it's like, yeah. oh, why didn't I just do Because you learned it, but me? you couldn't be, like, you kept, you failed in the test. I failed it twice. First time I failed because I was speeding. Mm-hmm. And then the second time I failed it because I was riding my clutch, which... Everyone, Everyone does. rides your clutch. I you think I still ride the top. You don't want to roll down, roll down a fucking hill. You're what's, gonna ride your clutch. What's riding? Yeah. What's riding? Like you just, just got to keep it there. You just like rev your clutch. Like I don't know how to explain it. You don't take your foot off the clutch, otherwise you're gonna stall. Oh yeah. yeah. You got to keep it going the whole time. But they're like, no, you're not allowed to do that. What? So yeah. With me. Well then how? Yeah. And I stormed out of the licensing because I didn't pay for it, and then tried to book a new one, and they're like, you didn't pay. I was like, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Yeah, so you could do it, but I would have been frustrated too. Like, at that, that time, you just want your license. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it costs you money every time you go, and I have to pay for every single Yeah, it's like, what, 90 to. bucks or some shit? It's ridiculous. 160. 160. Well, that's South how much it was back South then. South Fremantle IGA paying you oh, bucket bro. loads, yeah, hey? Definitely not. <laughs> $9 an hour, I think it was back then. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's dollars fifty. Dear Lord. Ew. I love how we can – I feel like – I'm allowed to say back then, considering we graduated like seven years ago. Back oh, in the day. Let's not talk about that. I only realized that the other day because I Seven realized, years ago? Yeah, seven I thought it was years five. This year. <laughs> oh, so shit. It's yeah. 2022. Because I only realized that the other day because I realized my laptop is nine years old. Yeah, that's hectic. Mm. Wow. It's almost a decade. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> For you? It's always a decade. Shut up. <laughs> almost a decade, sorry. Picking on me. Okay. Um, should we go to our goals? Sure. Yeah. Monique, go with you because you actually have... Yeah, I've got to get mine up. She's really thought about list. it. Yeah. She's really... Where's my phone? Got mm. within herself. I always do that though, every year. So, my first one is reach 20k savings for Europe, which I'm already, I'm already halfway there. I'm already halfway. Well <laughs> done. Well done, girl. Well, I well done. Get, I have to get to 20k before I leave or else there's no point in me leaving. When do you going. plan on going? June, July. Oh, easy, bro. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then just body goals like I have every year, um, mm-hmm. which one of them is go to Pilates because I've been saying that for like how long now? Six yeah. months and I still haven't done it. Yeah. And I went on their website today and it was like, 
um, what should I do before my first class? And he was like, get there 10 minutes early and get acquainted with your, your, like the, what's called studio. And then ask your instructor to teach you how to use the, um, machine machines. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, I can't do that on my own. Like usually I'm fine, but for some reason when it comes to, um, classes, well, yeah, the gym, yeah, I'm like, no, just, I'm it's just it weird. <laughs> hey, it's just, oh, yeah, the gym's weird. It's gonna take me a lot to go by myself. Yeah, well, we all did say that we would come. Like, I'm happy to come. We like, can go on a Saturday, on a Saturday, yeah, I'm yeah. Keen. like we'll one day a week. Yeah, I'm good enough. Yeah, for that. yeah, for like not this week, next week or something. Yeah, yeah. just not keen, anywhere I'm in keen January. Oh, wait, no, I've got things on at night time, not during the day. Yeah, yeah sorry, yeah, you have an exam morning on a Saturday on the piss, mate. Performer Pilates on a Saturday, not mad. That would be fucking that. No, thank you. Mm. Um, hit a certain amount of money a month with my business. Yes. Get to 2,000 followers on Beauty by Monique. Yes. Finally, like, hopefully. Um, so start doing a Sunday and Monday reset. So either Sunday or Monday, depending on what I'm doing. Yeah. I want to, like, reset the whole house, like, full food shop, everything like that, so that I don't have to think about it the whole week. Mm-hmm. And um, I just wish so much better when my house is basically spotless yeah so I just have everyone to do does yeah like I let it get away from me at the end of last year which happens with everything at the end of the year mm, like yeah. the last three months you're like fuck this but um yeah now I'm fully into it Philip's like you need to relax and I'm like no no mm. I don't we can't stop now mm-hmm. once we've started mm. um spend less money on food and cook more at home yeah so what I'm doing is like well I'm gonna try and stick to it one dinner out on the weekend and then one breakfast out on the weekend and then only buy coffees on the weekend mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. which is i just did that and it's really not that bad it's basically what i was doing except me and philip sometimes if we literally can't be fucked we would just go and buy food the whole weekend yeah, yeah like from friday yeah. to sunday normally that's what that i do is it's normally like weekends i do that yeah but it's so bad usually on saturdays oh sorry usually on saturdays i'm fine i'll um like cook breakfast because i'm home anyway like i'll like you know but yeah sundays are usually the days where i'm like oh i can't be fucked i'd rather just buy breakfast lunch and dinner yeah that's where i fuck up yeah and then tune into my more feminine side so like stick to my skincare wear like you know cuter pajamas and stuff like that because i feel disgusting sometimes when i put on like philip's t-shirt and i'm like and it's got like holes well that's like shit. yeah that's like, like me like fuck? right now i'm like i just feel so fucking gross i can't yeah. even look at myself like you don't feel like i don't feel like a girl i feel like no. a fat potato <laughs> I'm like, that was i me feel like mr potato well, not mr. That was well. mr. Saturday. <laughs> yeah i feel like that this week because my period's coming oh, oh i think that's what it is for me as oh, well because yeah. i get mine on monday yeah i get mine oh you you'll get it tomorrow i get mine <laughs> hang on i, I was meant to be due on the 13th oh oh yeah, I know that's in three days, but oh, oh, I thought you were saying you were late, and I oh, was like, oh no, oh my god, no, this this month, but we'll see if that changes. I have to take my mask off. Oh fuck, did you not? No, I did. Oh, <laughs> so, but fine, like, she was you'll like, it may cause some changes, and I'm like, okay. yeah, I mean, they say that, but they nah, have to say right. that. It doesn't. Question: What happens if you have the morning after pill? You take it, but then it comes inside of you again. <laughs> <laughs> Does it still work? I don't know if that hangs around like that. Does it? Sperm can last for seven days. Yeah, I know. But the morning after pill. How long does the morning after pill? Wait, when you took her and how long after did you have sex? Maybe like an hour after. Oh, you're fine. You should be fine. Yeah, it's that's still so in effective, your system. Because right? I've never had anyone come inside of me. So how was it? I don't know. I didn't feel it. So I'm like, I don't know what you didn't I was feel talking it. about. Did you do the cum run? Yeah, did you? Well, I was waiting for that. I was like, got up and I was like. <laughs> well, I, I was like, my neck says it comes out. Yeah. Like, I'm yeah, I just sit on the toilet and like push it out. Yeah, that happened. Like when I and you the like push it out and it makes like a little fanny fart. Like sometimes <laughs> like when a you queen. Push it, yeah, it's like yeah, a, if I have it has it's like a already. wet fart. Yeah, and um, it says like, once ingested, it's only effective for a maximum of about five days. Oh, you're yeah. sweet. You're oh, oh, you could have kept, kept going. Kept going. <laughs> I'm fucking de- sad about that now. I'm like, yeah. All right. Um, get oh it my in god! This is, why haven't we spoken about this? There's so much to this. I think you can only have one after three times. In the group chat. Someone just come. Uh, someone just came. I was so I was so nervous to go into the camera. So I'm like, I don't know why. Like it's a normal thing. Like it's just life. You know, everyone has yeah. sex. Yeah. And I walk in and I was so scared. And I was like, Hi, I just want the um morning after pill. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, Oh my god, yeah! Like I, like like.
like blah 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 just asking all the, and she was so fucking nice she was like oldish woman as well oh, like that's nice she was nice i've had a health bar yeah lady. shout out to really? one of those it's like pharmacy 777 or something nice. in spearwood in fucking nice, recommend yeah. she has glasses little blonde hair oh, she, get, she gets a whack shit so yeah. what what you said is completely normal yeah yeah so i'm um, yeah it's fucking spearwood too i'm like mate did someone get stabbed and go into there the other day like <laughs> literally so though at hammy hill oh my god yeah, yeah. that's down the road for me mm. Mm. yep um, Sorry, Sam, well, okay. Emma, congratulations. Thank you. Welcome to the cum lab. I know. Lab. Well, I needed, it needed to happen at some point. <laughs> the way you said that was the, your cum, the cum lab. Is that welcome, welcome to the cum, the cum club? Oh, I feel so special. <laughs> so, what do you? What do they call people? Come a cum dumpster. A cum. Oh. <laughs> Did you get that from pop. freaking Weather Millers? It's from something. I thought it was from a porno. I mean, oh no, it's Bona. Oh, you come slut. No, Bona That's Garage. Come slut. Oh, come slut. Yes. You take this shit, come slut. Where the fuck did you get come dumpster from instead of come slut? That's really oh, bad. <laughs> it sounds fucking dirty. That does sound really de- degrading. Is that the word? Come yeah. dumpster is in the Urban Dictionary. Damn. Ew. Look at me. Oxford Damn. Dictionary shit. Oxford Dictionary. Don't know about that. <laughs> Oh, that's so funny. Sorry, Mum, that please don't really listen to this episode. So I'm either yeah. getting my period. <laughs> I just was searching it and I was like, that looks really yeah. bad in my search history. So I'm either getting my period or I'm pregnant. One of the two. But we'll find no, out. you wouldn't be pregnant. Nah, I don't know. So I even told her, because she was like, oh, when's your period? I'm like, oh, on the like the 13th. And this was like, what, last week? And she was like, oh, you're in the low risk category. Cat- category. So I'm like, ah, oh, I figured it out now. So yeah. have sex, guys, and have someone come in you before your period. Mm. St- no, I'm kidding. Don't do no. that. Don't, don't do that. Don't that. do that. I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. Because it's, yeah. it's never always It's never. It's never effective. gonna. Yeah, no. Don't I've fucking take out advice. Yeah, neither. No, but someone, a guy was once, someone with children was telling me um, from their experience, mm. um, they got, their wife got pregnant after their period. Like your, like she was more fertile after her period. Yeah, I feel like that's normal though. I feel like that's when I feel like that's when you're least likely, more likely to get pregnant. I thought it was the complete fucking opposite. Yeah, I thought that too. I thought that too. Yeah, like the egg goes. There's, it's not there. Yeah, it's not there. Oh, hang on. I thought my my Twitter app would tell me, but it doesn't. Yeah, but anyway, everyone's are completely different, so don't listen to us. But I was just talking from that person, and I was just taking the piss, guys. Don't personal experience. I mean. Use I guess we'll find out in three days. Yeah, mm-hmm. we'll see if it comes. I mean, like, I've got that tummy. I'm getting that tummy, you know. Um, but is it a baby? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Mama. <laughs> oh, fuck. We got so sidetracked. Oh, um, yeah, sorry, Vinay. Interrupted your goals just yeah, now. Yeah, my last ones are not that. Like, they just find a better balance between work life, mm-hmm. have a morning and night routine, and that's it. Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. What about you, Em? Um, I... <laughs> so i think this year i really want to focus on a, me- a finding a good mental health kind of balance like i've decided to speak to someone well hopefully going to speak to someone about a few things get some help with a couple of things so sort out that kind of aspect in my life love that for you um, i want to become more grounded i want to start saving for a house i want to get a new Ooh. job because like i'm in the mining industry kind of thing so i want to hopefully eventually go fifo yeah so that's up there on the Criteria. No, that's the word. Miss you. So yeah, I mean, no, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Or if I can get a job here, more money. You know, it's always yeah. Whatever there's so the money, many, there's so much shit you can do in this industry. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I want to save a house because I feel like it's just time for me to get a little bit more grounded. As much as I love this place and I never want to leave, but yeah, just to be a bit more grounded. Um. Probably not go out as much. Like I'm still always going to be a crazy bitch. That's never going to change. But I just want to. Just so we'll get crazy at your house. Exactly. Like it's just, yeah, I just want to get my priorities straight, hang out with people that benefit me more, um, e.g. these guys. Um, like, because everyone's just sending through a bunch of idiots now, I'm not going to lie. And they just, whatever. And um, <laughs> like the Perth bubble is just getting a bit like claustrophobic now. Like we oh. need to go out. I need to travel. Yeah, like, you travel. know, I want to travel. Yeah. Oh my God, I love this for you. I did mm. not know any of this. Yeah, yeah. Um, I thought there was something else. I can't remember now. Money. Oh, and then just, yeah, like, just become more body healthy. Like, yeah. I want to, like, like I took my lunch to work today, which I haven't done in ages. Like, I want to start taking my home cooked meals. I want to learn how, learn how to cook. That's what I want to do. Yes. That's a good one. I'm going to do that. Um, I want to do that. Um, get back into my little home workouts and stuff. Just find inner peace and happiness. We're I feel going that. back to where we were two yeah, years ago. Yeah, two years ago. Yeah. I don't think we had our podcast two years ago. Hey? No, no, 2019. Well, we we were speak all... speak about it, remember? We yeah. did, yeah. But Wait, yeah. did we not... That was the end of that year. 
2021. No. 2020, we had a podcast. Yeah, yeah. we must have spoken about it because I remember no, sitting we have... at my table and saying, we were on a really good track and COVID fucked us up. No, no, no. We definitely did that. We definitely did that. Because mm. that was when we brought out my vision board. Yeah. Vision yes. We wanted to get, one? yeah, we wanted to get back at where we were in 2019. Yeah. 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 So we're pretty much yeah, we're pretty much going back but bringing it. It's taking its time, but it's, it's here. Its time. Yeah. Cause because like when COVID happened, it was just depressing. There was no fucking point, I'm sorry. It yeah, fucked no. with our wavelength. Yeah. I don't know what happened. It like pinged us off course. Yes. Yeah. We just But I feel like I feel like it's because like we felt like there was nothing to look forward to. Mm. Well, like, yeah, it was as just in, like obviously like... events and going out with the, like the girls and having like engagement parties and stuff that's obviously really exciting, but um, when you can't leave somewhere and you feel like you're trapped and you feel like everything's just stagnant for like two years, it sucks. Mm. Yeah. Especially at our age. Yeah. Well, especially not being able to travel. Like we had no goal to save. Like we yeah. knew we couldn't do it. Mm. So and, like, you couldn't buy, there was no point in buying or building a house. Like good on you if you did in the time. That love that for you. Because that was fucking wild. Mm. But like it felt like there was no point doing that because it was fucked. There, you couldn't travel. So there was no point saving for that. Like, honestly, I've had the same amount of money sitting in my savings account for two years. Mm. And I just haven't touched it. Yeah, so yeah. I've got no savings, so I need to start doing that shit. Yeah. When you get it, it'll feel great. Yeah. You won't want to watch it go down. Right yeah. now, I want to go traveling, but I'm scared to watch my savings go Me down. Because I'm like, yeah. I fucking worked for you it's yeah. so hard. Well, that, yeah, I think, like, this year for well, like, I, like, obviously, my friends always want to come first, but my work life did slip a lot last year um, due to unimentionable reasons. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, so that's something I really want to focus on because I'm a very work orientated person. Yeah. I've always worked and that's just always been me. So I really want to get back to that. Yeah. I, I wonder if people actually know that about you. Like you were very work oriented. Yeah. Like, I wonder. Yeah. Like I the wonder. amount of times you went into work in hung retail, over, yeah. hung over is, like honestly hadn't slept. Yeah. And just rocked straight in there with yeah, what you, you were never, wearing yeah. the night before. Yeah. Cause I've always been like, you know, don't even be. No, I don't care. Um, freaking, I've always fended for myself. Very independent person. So work, if I didn't have my work, I would have nothing. My mm. life would kind of just crumble. So I've always been very work orientated. And then even that I worked in retail, I was still, I was still the manager. I still went in every single day, weekends, partying. But I was still partying every single weekend, going crazy, losing my mind, all that brain cells and all that kind of stuff. Mm. Um, go to work with no sleep, no nothing. But it was like, it's my own choice. If I want to go out, and these are the consequences I have to pay for. Be hungover at work. Mm-hmm. But I survived. That's insane. Did I... it for like fucking... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven years. Yeah. yeah you... <laughs> didn't I, stop. You were a... Crazy a trooper. <laughs> yeah, Love it was that good. So yeah, I, I like working. I you like... know how you just said you didn't want to watch your savings go down? Mm. Saying that, I actually want to fucking spend it. Because this... It like, feels so good to The money, money has been anymore. sitting there for so <laughs> yeah. long. I'm like, I actually want to go and do something with it. Like Imagine this not though. Doing anything. This it's is what this is there. what this is why I always battle with myself with money. It's like I want to save, but it's like I could die tomorrow, and you're gonna have all this money in your bank but account. That's it's not to say nothing. that I'm not gonna come back from Europe and just yeah, do it and all it's over like again it's money. I'm it's like have something else to save. For. Yeah, it's like you can always earn more money as well. I can't wait to spend my Europe savings. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I just don't want to watch it go down. Like yeah, I really I like it sitting there. Like I think I'm feel safe with it there. Like yeah. I feel like right now I could do anything. Yeah. Because I know at the end of the day I've got that money to fall back on. Mm. Yeah. Like if I want a dress, I can just be like, I'm gonna take that. Yeah. And then put it back in later. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Also, not spend money on pointless shit. Actually. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Us, we we used about. to do that all the time. I'm gonna stop buying good. outfits. We'd be pretty good. Yeah. Mm. I need to try try to stop. Mm. Hmm. Well, that's why I just want to buy like some comfy clothes because like that's literally just gonna be me all throughout summer. No, but that's winter. the thing. We all have too many comfy clothes. I don't. I don't have any. Oh. Can't find shit. Though. I have I'm no casual you, I can't clothes. Find shit. I think I've thrown everything out. Like we went out for I dinner feel like Saturday I don't night. Have clothes. Like obviously I've got them, but I feel like none of them go together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing you suiting my body shape for at the moment. Event. Yeah, I buy for like one thing. I don't buy the thing and think, oh yeah, I can wear that for like this, multiple this, times. Because yeah. like I have this thing, I don't out for repeat either. So I'm like, fuck, I didn't get out that habit as well. Same. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's what I did. Well, last week I borrowed Amy's, but this week I have a fiftieth. So it's like I got to try find something. See, for those types mm. of events, it's kind of just like mm, you can wear something you've already worn. It's just a fiftieth. It still bothers me. It's mm-hmm. not like it's a 21st or a th- no, like no. a 25th. Like yeah. People, like, I going to see you. Yeah. I know. It's shit mentality. How did we get here? I don't That's a horrible thing to think like. I really don't know. I'm very bad. I don't really give a fuck now. 
I'm very bad. Mm. Oh, actually, I would wear the same outfit, outfit if, if say, if I was going <laughs> to one event. Like, say if I was going with you guys and then I wore an outfit, but then I was going with different people to another event, like another week, and I would wear, like, that outfit then yeah. if I didn't upload a photo with <laughs> See, that's yeah. the thing. That, yeah. Do you oh, reckon that's so what bad. makes us think that we can't outfit repeat? I think so. I think we like need to get actually, out of that because, like, I see so many memes. It's like, you know I have a washing machine, right? Like, wash your clothes, you can wear yeah, them again. again. Okay, that doesn't change the fucking Who made I that meme? Like it, it, was, it was like, I don't know, it was like a TikTok or something, I don't know, but it like, made a good point when like they get taken the piss out of all oh, you wearing the same outfit. Like, haven't you like, worn do that? Do we ever like, yeah, I own a washing machine. That, like, where, that would have started in school. Oh, yeah. Like, do we ever take the piss out of the boys for wearing the same outfit? No. no. I don't even think they would even notice if we wore the same outfit. Nor no, should we care wouldn't. if they no, even no. noticed. Like, put this in perspective, I bought Anton a shirt in 2019, December. Uh, November, mm. a year later at General Pants, it was still fucking there in yeah. the next following December. And I was like, why is girls' fashion last for three days? Princess Polly, Beginning Boutique, all of them, it's fast fashion. And like Bro, our I'm outfit, literally, you, if they come in and then they go out. I'm yeah. so angry. You know those It's so annoying. Oh, this one. The little linen Yeah, ones. yeah, yeah. They're fucked. I can't wear them again. Oh, because they shrunk. Yeah. That's so annoying. So that, that's so annoying. And then like freaking, they literally bought like. Even sitting down here as a hip skirt, annoying. I can't wear it. It's too short. That's fucking that's disgusting. Annoying. That sucks. See, that fucking sucks. Yeah. See, guys just have Pick it so game much up. easier when it comes. Like, I'm going to start dressing like a boy. Actually, fuck it. Yeah. Who cares? What's it called? We need to find timeless gender outfits. Gender specific? No, I don't know. Yeah, gender neutral. Gender, gender neutral. neutral. I'm gender neutral now, guys. Well, I've this decided. is literally Anton's shirt and I've just chucked a tennis yeah. skirt on. That's like, yeah. But yeah, like, I feel like we need to find timeless outfits. Like, outfits that will always look good yes. no matter. Basics. Like, oh, black turtlenecks, outfits, gold chain, blue though. jeans, boots. It might have it'll, start, it'll start being a thing now, now that, not that we're getting old, but as we get older... We won't wear what we used to wear. Oh, <laughs> I'm still wearing my Chunky Dog Martins everywhere I go. Yeah, I'll but be like, watch your outfits them. get more and more comfier. <laughs> basic. Oh, yeah. ours do. My, I feel are. like me and mine and yours yeah. outfits are very basic. I'm so sick of buying like fucking Extra. all these crazy yeah. shit. Like I just want browns, whites, blacks, maybe a baby blue. I literally look at your sister <sighs> and her like friends this blue outfit. and I'm like, how do you... Oh, that is cute. Yeah, that's right. See, yeah. don't have Princess Polly up on your face, No, guys. but I literally look at Jasmine and her friends and I'm like, how do you look like that? Like, the their outfits them. are so wild. They hire them all. Because None yeah, of them oh, own yeah. any oh, yeah, they don't, don't own it. No, they no, don't, don't own any of their outfits. Me. Here's me no thinking, like, and if they do, they all wear the same thing. Yeah. Well, Which my is life what has we been alive. We would do, but we yeah. never did that. I but never. But it's like you got to think of it. If we were there, no, like we it's just like it's just like the fashion shit. coming yeah. out and like, stuff. Like we we, we still wear stuff like that as well. Like if we really want to try festivals and stuff. Oh, we can go wild. Yeah. Bro, my New Year's Eve outfit completely changed on New Year's New Year's Eve. I ended up wearing all black. Yeah, you did. I was like, fuck this. I loved that outfit. Oh, I want to borrow that. Yeah, we're gonna have to find a shirt because it's not my shirt. Anyway, um, my goals. I don't yes, think I said mine. I look. I don't have we many. Keep going on tangents. But I know. That's good. My Maybe goals we'll to save money. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I'm doing this thing for Anton and I. I'm like creating. Like you can literally buy them online, but I just thought I'd make my own. Like a little. It's not hard. It's like a date night book, mm-hmm. and I'm making Anton and I one. So like we want to try not to go out as much. Um, so I'm trying mm-hmm. to find different ideas and just put it in a book and then have it printed out instead of because like you think about these goals and then you you kind of forget about it and then we end up at Benny's yeah and I would really tr- want to not to as much as I love to get drunk this gets too repetitive it's very it hard mm. it's very hard to not drink like on the weekend I had a 21st and I was like I tried so hard not to get pissed and I got smashed so mm. Mm. um what else is another goal I want to do Naked Yoga yeah. by Rosie Reese. Mm-hmm. I really want to do that. And I think just be more in touch with myself mm-hmm. and what I'm feeling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just something I want to work on. That's good. I like that. I feel like that's basically all. I haven't really. I feel like we're all on the same page. Yeah, we are on a lot of the same wavelengths this year, which I'm yeah. really excited about. It makes it easier because then you have the support as well. Mm-hmm. And it's like you're yeah. not going through it alone. And so. I honestly think with the whole saving money and the like not drinking as much and stuff, it it's 100% going to happen. Yeah. Because the only time that we're going to go out and get drunk and be fucking crazy is when we actually have something on. Yeah, yeah. Like, like stuff that's worthy to get fucked up Because if you think about it, we don't really randomly mm. go, let's go to Emma's and get fucked up. 
No, yeah. no. We I mean, like did. we could do that. Like hands down, we can yeah, do that whenever we want. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, that's what sure. I want to do. I don't want to yeah. go to Benny's. Like we need more. I fucking hate going out. I'm so. I can't do it anymore, man. Like this Mind is crazy. You though, your birthday was lit. Oh, your birthday was fucking. But that Sick. was so different. That was Hands so, down. so different. Yeah, that like, was that was a loose we time. Have, tell me when we've ever done that. I don't think. But we've see, <laughs> that's a that's a big event. Like that's uh, that's exactly. what I would consider an and event. You know like it's birthdays. Coming up, so you put money away for it. Exactly. Yeah. If we if there's a weekend coming up where we're like, well, we've done nothing for two weeks. Let's go to Emma's and do a repeat of Emma and Amy's birthdays. It's not hard. For yeah, us to it's do that. really not hard. No. And like buying bottles of vodka is so much cheaper or than going like, and buying a ten dollar vodka soda. Oh out. yeah. Freaking, oh, freaking pool day. We can just do one of them again. Like, yeah. yeah. Don't know why we just don't live at yours January and Anton's. We'll f- it'll be a lot better. Like, yeah. We have something on every weekend in January. Yeah. And then in February, we've only got, well, I've only got that. We've got your, your birthday your and my birthday. Oh. But that's it. Yeah. And then Shakira's after yours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's just the birthdays really now because I can't see myself just going out on a weekend. No, but if you think no, about it, when yeah. have we ever randomly gone... No, but we, we never. used to. We used to do. No, that. I don't know. We have. I always had. Something oh, no, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be. But no, on. I'm talking like a couple of years ago now. Oh, maybe when I was like, 18, we oh, just before, go to metro. Maybe like pre-COVID. Pre-COVID, we were like that. We we're like, oh, let's so go maybe to the a city. couple. Let's times. go like this. Blue flamingo. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like yeah. all of those times and stuff. But like now that it's just kind of died down because like you just see the same face and like you know I'm not saying that it's not nice to see your faces but it's just like it's just the same so shit repeating, and it's the man. same conversations. How you been? Like how you going? It's like bro, shut the, I don't care. I don't care yeah. about you. I only see you when <laughs> I'm drunk. Yeah, I only see you when you're drunk. You only care about me when I'm like when we're drunk and it's just like no. Yeah. yeah. And it's just bleh. and then bleh. just alcohol. It's just same for me as but well. Even I just, if you think about what we've got coming up. Mm. It's all different. It's all different. And then even if we Sundays did want to go out, then yeah, let's go out, Next but go somewhere different instead of Benny's. Like try new things. House, mm. you're, um, we've got a boat party. We never have boat parties. Yeah, we never have boat like, parties it's anymore. It's all different. Oh. Yeah. So for me, I can justify that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Same. That makes more sense. Like we have a reason. It's not like just a random night mm. going out. Exactly. And then, yeah, if we do want a night, we just come here, get a platter, make some food. Oh, so oh, much fun. I would that. rather that 100%. Yeah, definitely. And I know we, we say this, but we never sleep. fucking do it, but I really, 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 really want to do it. Yeah. yeah. And I also think once winter hits, it will be a thing. Yeah. Well, you guys know, like, I'm freaking keen for anything. You guys don't need an invite. You can pretty much just make up the day on your own and I'll just be here. <laughs> <laughs> With the hey, hammer, we're coming over. No, like, I know we can do that. It's yeah. just like, it, we never, like, never do like i don't know i just need to take the step and be like no get off the couch yeah, and yeah go do no, but that's what it is though like we're like we know like we all want to hang out with each other but it's like also like we also know that we also each of us like staying at home yeah. as well like it's not a big issue it's yeah, always yeah. My, like a fear of mine not really a fear but like i remember when philip went through a stage of like wanting to save all this money and he did which was great but i always said like you can save money, but you also need to have a social life. You yeah, can't go sure. through your 20s and lock yourself in your fucking house. Yeah, mm. definitely. You don't want to get to your 30s and be like, I wasted it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There was literally a guy called Gary V who said... That's depressing. I think like my mum has just always said, like, do as much as you can before you have kids. Exactly. Yeah. It's not definitely. a saying kids are bad. It's just like they literally well, you're devour your whole life. life. They are your whole no. life. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's, they not, t- it's not about you anymore. It's about them. Mm. Yeah. And that's yeah. what I want to do. Like, I want to make sure that I have done everything. Yeah. Yeah, and like sure. live my like hang out with my friends and get pissed drunk in your room and yeah. like do all that because when you have kids you've got to fuck off exactly home. like we're just gonna have a good balance this year I reckon. we could talk about much. that what the vaccine oh, and the shit. COVID stuff. oh shit we just triggered some people because like i just want to talk about mark mcgowan's post which what one? Post? The drop kick one. The drop kick one. <laughs> oh, wait, that was the funniest shit. <laughs> How good shit. was it? Just him saying that, I'm like, okay, getting a little more respect for you now again. Like, it's, yeah. it's fucking funny. He, He's don't be so a drop kick. <laughs> I was in awe. I was like, can a politician say that? That's so good. That's just, that, oh, an I Aussie mean, politician props can. to you, sir. Do yeah. what you like while you're in office. But an Aussie no. politician can. Mate, sure. I feel sorry for him. What a fucking job. Mm. It would be tough. Of course, no one's going to be happy with what you did. Or like whatever you do, no one's gonna be. But happy. I'm not like, everyone's at the end happy. of the day, I feel like we WA's done pretty good. Yeah, we might have been in a bubble, but he chose yeah. to live without it, and now he's like, well, fuck. People kind of want to leave the country. I consider ourselves it's, pretty lucky when I'm we compare ourselves lucky, yeah. to Melbourne, who have been locked down for basically two years. Yeah, 
we haven't even really the longest lockdown we had was yeah, three months. Yeah, people would have been at least at least like we have been. We've all like we could been still party. Shit. Yeah, like imagine if we couldn't. But party. be grateful we at the end of the day we that got, we have this freedom. Still, yeah, and you know? we say that we got knocked off course. Yeah, yeah okay, because it was fucking weird. We yeah. wanted still to travel, weird, like, <laughs> and it is thanks to the people that have been vaccinated that we're allowed able to do these things and open now, up yeah. shit. And it's just like yeah, the people that are so against it, but like you see them fucking snorting ketamine or they're doing this or they're doing this. It's like, bro, you've literally killed your insides already like bro it's f- like that abby chatfield song yeah no when she she ha- yeah, she did a podcast she and she off, but yeah can we get it up can we play that song abby chatfield ketamine ketamine um and this is not meant to be like forceful as we're not saying you need to go and get the vaccine oh no i'm just chatting about it yeah, yeah we're just chatting. we're not we're like just saying we're like, not like we're not being those there's Nazis, some people but, out oh, there that like are like <laughs> have been vaccinated with every other vaccine, but they're not going to get the COVID vaccine, but they do drugs every weekend. You could die from a cap. Yeah. Yeah, literally. And yeah. you just popped and it didn't even, yeah. you didn't even think about it. You were like, yeah, mate, I'll pay 40 bucks for that cap. It was <laughs> just, <laughs> it was just like, it's just like, bro, get it, just get it over. I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm not saying get it, not saying don't get it, but it's just like, don't be so anti, like, oh my God, you don't know what's in it. It's like the amount of shit that's in your body already, man. Like the people like, that do drugs and are anti-vax, I'm sorry. It doesn't make what sense. leg you do make, you have You have no on. leg to stand on. Like, yeah, I'm sorry. Shut up. <laughs> like, Just plain and simple, shut up. You're going to take something from Johnny from the corner, but bloody some scientist that was yeah, like, yeah, I've got something guy, that'll let, save the let's world. Let's just message some ta- to guy on Telegram. Know. Probably going to get rolled and probably going to get stabbed for whatever we've got. Freaking probably, this pro- I'm pretty sure you guys have probably sorted salt or freaking cement at some point in your life. Oh, is it not working? No. Anyway, but um, it's, it's just funny. Oh, like just, some I find it funny now. Yeah, I got it. Is it called I know you do ketamine? Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> It's got to be the only, like, legit thing that she's like, ever said. I feel like that's the same. Like, if you're an anti-vax, point. but you are, like, a hippie and you don't do any drugs, cool. Like, mm. good on you. Yeah, you have, you have your own fears mm. and um, anxiety behind it. That's great. Your decision, love. Live your life. Sis doing whatever. Every weekend. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Like, it was... Before I got my vax, I wasn't anti-vax. I was more like it was... They were forcing it down our throat. And it was just like, okay. Yeah, well, it was don't, scary. Don't say that it's, like, optional when you're forcing people to get it. Like, don't well, fucking lie. Right. Well, yeah, like, why wouldn't lie. they just say, hi, you have to get it? Yeah, like, say you have to honest. get it for these, like, to be... To fucking work, to do this, to do this. Don't be like, oh, my God, it's optional. It but, stopped, like, it's up to you. But it's like, no, just don't being, fucking yeah, just lie. Honest. Just don't lie. That's what pissed me off. Yeah. It stopped being optional when they started saying, you won't have a job. Yeah. That's when it stopped being yeah. optional. Which is bullshit. Yeah. That's but what pissed like, me off about the whole thing. But it's yeah. like, once you get it, it's fine. And I think also for a lot of people, like, well, for us especially, I feel like it was more like, what the fuck? Because every other vaccine that we've had, our parents had to decide whether we were getting that or not, not us. That's true. Mm. Yeah. And we've never had the flu jab. Well, I've never had the flu I've jab. I've never had the flu jab. I don't think I've had the flu jab either. I haven't even had, like, what, meningococcal? I think we went through my oh, yeah, the other day. Had I haven't had that. Mm, oh, my bro. Probably I'm that. probably, I, I should be dead. Like, let's be real. Well, if, <laughs> we, like, if we've all had our meningococcal needle, it wouldn't matter. Meningococcal needle. Did I say that wrong? Meningococcal needle. Meningococcal needle. Yeah, if I, like, if we've all had it and you haven't, it wouldn't matter because we've had it and even if you haven't, we wouldn't get it. Yeah, but yeah. she would die. Uh, do you reckon masks should be optional if you're vaccinated? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, same. Ma- I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm just going to put it out there. Masks do fucking nothing. Yeah, that's what I was saying at work. And some bitch tried to argue me. And I'm like, are you fucking serious right now? What the fuck is a mask going to do, bro? Like, what is it going to do? To Kill cancer? I don't think so. Safer. <laughs> you can still... The, like, the protection between a piece of fabric and your fucking mouth is nothing. It's literally nothing. And you can still feel the air coming out of the mouth. Like, it's just... Maybe if you put, like, fire oh, on your face. It's not gunproof, bro. It's, it's just a safety precaution. Yeah. It's yeah. Just interesting. So, yeah, it just should be optional. Because otherwise, if you're vaccinated, what's stupid. the point of it, eh? Like, yeah. if I'm vaccinated, why should I wear a mask? Well, yeah, that's what happens. I just need someone. I'm not against it. I just want to know, like, like what's why the point of the vaccine? I'm yeah, what's the point of the vaccine? Because I wear yeah. them every day for work. Yeah, but like, yeah. yeah, so it's not an issue for me. But I'm just like, that's you don't want to go out and have to wear them, though. No? Yeah. Like, why, um, why are the vaccinated people still having to do certain things that unvaccinated people are still also having to do? Yeah, like, it doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, you need to separate the two now, which Unless I they're going to explain to, it. I suppose. Mm. Yeah. I'm also like, ner- not nervous, but like worried to go out 
on a night out and be like in a pub and then there'd be like a fucking riot out the front. Oh, there will be. I reckon it's going to turn into like a purge or something. Like (gasps) some shit's going to go fucking down. Especially when those borders open. Like, oh. That's what I was going to say. How many people we've got vaccinated now? That's Mm. crazy. Imagine that. It's a full blown street fight, fight club. Mm. Number one rule in Fight Club There mm. is no rules Because there's going to be someone That's going to try and get into somewhere Not vaccinated Or like has Freaking a face certificate And like the, They're not going to get let in And then they're going to kick off And everyone it, It's just It's going to blow oh up Oh my god I did not even it's think gonna, of yeah, that Yeah 100% it's going to blow up People are going to go fucking crazy oh Remember no. what happened when all the <laughs> All the drugs got seized around Perth And all anyone oh, could do oh was yeah, drink was And doing. everyone went fucking crazy Do you remember that? I do that? remember that alcohol makes people angry this It was I don't like crazy alcohol. Yeah to annoying but hello what up bitch hello. welcome come what say hello to make my guest oh did you bring monique a shirt come yeah. sit down oh monique she got table. you a shirt this is jasmine hi everyone jasmine auctions yeah this is monique's sister what are you talking about we were, we're just it, talking we're about just covid at the moment oh. And how there's going to be riots when people, oh, the yeah. unvaccinated are outside Benny's and we're all inside and they're like, what the oh, fuck? For sure. Start a riot. Do you reckon? <laughs> what would you do? I'd join in. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to no, double back now, hey? I'm just, I feel like it's awkward. I would just stand there and be like, oh. But I feel sorry for the um, security guards and that because... Yeah. Poor Louis. Poor Louis. Yeah, like, I feel sorry because it's not their fault, but they're definitely going to cop it. Yeah. But just... Oh, no worries, girlfriend. Um, yeah, yeah, so sorry. should we go to... You have a brain choker. Oh, yeah, okay. We'll start the it's not a, is it a, are we calling oh, it a brain choker? Oh, are we choker? doing, like, help a girl well, out? Yeah. Yeah. Do we want to do brain chokers anymore? I feel like, nah. Okay, we'll just say Emma's uh, got a question for us. Yeah. Oh, i just seen something, and I can't remember where I got this from, but I wrote it down anyway. And it just made me think, what would your last meal be if you were on death row? Uh, well, I know. Do you know what you would have? What would yours be? Yeah. Mine would be... A cooked meal it's gonna be some extravagant by thing. my mother, and I see it's a tough one. I've got two two number one meals: mm-hmm. roast lamb, mm. which is amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, by my mum. Wow. Un- okay. Unhurt, un- unanimate. I mean, I don't even can't even speechless. <laughs> can't even speechless. <laughs> can't even can't even can't speechless. even speechless. Second meal would be crumb chicken with mashed potato and veggies. Ooh, you're home cooking mm. meals. Mm. Cover it, e- both meals in mint sauce. And I do like. Mint I know sauce. my side. Oh, okay. just side my mum's pasta bread. salad. Oh, oh yeah. I thought you were gonna say garlic you're bread, eh? Hey. I mean, I would love garlic bread, but I don't know. Yeah. No. Mine would be my side is definitely my pasta salad. I don't know my main. Think about it. Yeah, Think mine would be it. a chicken schnitzel with chips and salad and mushroom sauce. Mm. But I would also want chili mussels, chili mussel sauce, but no mussels, just a chili mussel yes. sauce. And then I also so just want Benny's menu. Yeah, yeah <laughs> and then I also want a cheeseburger from H's with extra pickles and sauce. Yeah, and I like do macas as well, and a coke. <laughs> wow. So can we have multiple foods? Yeah. Like this is my last meal. Like, I can have whatever. Yeah. Do you have to have one? Can it be like no, I just want a all big food to eat? It no, now. They, yeah. I'll do they like a usually mukbang. order like multiple things they do yeah okay i'll go ham. even oh, better mum's stir fry i have to give it to her she Ooh. makes dope stir fry oh yeah you said that before yeah i wouldn't mind a roast actually i love a roast yeah holbrook sauce and some mint sauce i hate so how nice. you call it holbrook sauce oh, I don't, uh, wish she calls it wish that's well, just wish too hard i can't Worcestershire. even say that wish is you wish is holbrook is the brand i'm pretty sure we've said this out four times yeah we have Oh my god, what a great question. I'm going to go home and think about all that food. Mm. I feel like I mine is definitely pasta salad. You need There's like food, macas, yeah. definitely macas in there at some point. What about curry? You love curries. Yeah, I reckon spaghetti marinara from Charlatalia. Okay. Mm. And maybe like oh, El pizza Dante's and garlic pizza. bread. Yeah. It's really hard because mm. I love all those foods. I would love El Dante's Volcano Pizza. El Dante, Ooh, if you're listening. No, Emma, you need to try MK's Pizza down the road from mine. His brand like just opened. Holy, holy fuck. What's it called? MK. <laughs> MK Pizza? Yeah. Oh, I'll put in my notes. Oh my God, he's amazing. Like, And he's got a calzone. Is that what it's called? Calzone. Calzone with Nutella. Oh, filled with oh, Nutella. Get inside it. And then he's made an Oreo. He's also just made an Oreo and Nutella pizza as well because he's got like a dessert menu. We haven't done <clears> that yet, but... Get inside of me. Yeah. It's amazing. Okay, so my dessert would be Swan River Gelato. Yes. The Ferrero Rocher flavor. Mm-hmm. 
hits different. Mine would just have to be Belgian chocolate. You like Belgian chocolate? Plain. Plain. Mm. Mm. Interesting. I just got filled onto that. Fuck. He used it, to be a vanilla. So many foods. He used he he was a vanilla. Yeah. Obsessed. We need, obsessed. We need to have words He's with Philip. boring. Philo. Not anymore though. What what does he have now? Dolce de de leche is like his fave, like the caramel. Yeah, yeah. He also is now obsessed with Belgian chocolate, <sighs> and then he still will sometimes get like vanilla or like like a chocolate chip maybe, yeah. but he's usually caramel or like chocolate. Now. Love that. Vanilla's fucking boring. Sorry. Yeah, well, it is. What? Vanilla. Yeah. Just vanilla ice cream in general. Yeah, well, I don't like anything. vanilla. I don't like Philip vanilla. Anything, vanilla anything, like, anything, if we ever get milkshakes, this is never. Anything vanilla, I don't like. I don't mind a vanilla no, milkshake. No. Because it's like a good flavour. Chocolate. The chocolate can be too much. Spearmint, de- fat chocolate no. Chocolate milkshake mm, from Mackenzie. Oh. Or a chocolate frappe. Oh, I mean, a coffee frappe. Coffee frappe had that yesterday. Or a chocolate frappe. I haven't had one of them in a while. Mocha. Just so mm. much milk that just cannot be Can processed. Can you get them with oat? No, nah, you can't, which is what That's fucking bullshit. sucks. I know. Wait, it's like, no, what? They don't have any milk in them. Because frappes are made from ice. How do they get cream? No. They definitely are. They have milk yeah. in them. There's got to be ice cream in there. There's got to be... There's, there's, what? Someone told me that. It's ice and ice cream. Cheese in. Surely. There has to be milk. There Otherwise, I'm asking milk. for a coffee no, frappe I'm, with almond milk. Yeah. <laughs> so there it is. It's Who told me that there wasn't? Maybe I seen the TikTok and it was fake. Liars. Never mind. I take it back. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, I'm like, bullshit. Don't bullshit. Google what's in them either. No, I'm okay. I don't want to know. <laughs> oh, my God. What? So, on Saturday, I went to go pick up protein powder. Oh, mm-hmm. did you get it? Uh, no, I didn't get yours. Okay. I got a vegan protein powder. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I can't remember. I like vegan protein powder. I don't like it. It's other- so grainy. No, my the one I got's not too bad. I just oh, had okay. it today. Anyway, I asked about yours. Mm-hmm. Would you like to know where they get collagen from? Yes, I already know. Okay. <laughs> What's collagen? Oh, that's stuff that makes you poop? No, collagen is like good for your skin, skin but yeah. it's, you know that it's pointless ingesting it, right? Yeah, but it just makes the protein smoother. That's why it's smooth. Yeah, it's a different compound. She was explaining Yeah, you're it. meant to put it on. Yeah, you've literally got to inject collagen for it to actually do yeah, something to your skin. Yeah, that's Collagen nice. makes you look younger, really. Like, um, when you're young, you have lots of... Eating collagen is so protein. pointless. Because it makes... Like, it just, like, sells it quicker. Like, people think, oh, my God, I'm, my skin's going to be good. There would be a reason why. But ATP, is, <laughs> ATP would have put it in there for a reason. Yeah. But, no, they, she did say when you have collagen... Collagen is a type of protein. Yes. So, when you add it in, she was explaining it to me with all these different compounds and i was like yeah no there's I'm no not. point in ingesting like getting a collagen powder is not basically pointless yeah, yeah like collagen is a protein because it comes from an animal mm-hmm. yes okay yes. would you like to know where collagen comes from Aww. cow's intestines yeah. oh for fucks why is it so gross for mm. Ew. Mm. yes but yeah when she told me that i was like monique what are you doing to me it's like so fun. I the only protein that I can have that doesn't hurt my stomach. Yeah, no, fair enough. But so yeah. I understand why you got the vegan one now. No, I've always just only had vegan proteins, and then I tried the whey one, and What's it wasn't. What's the vegan one made out of? Pea. It's too. It's awesome. <laughs> what do you mean? It, there's like four wow, different types. Sign me up to protein. Of um, vegetable nummy. protein. Oh, yeah, but what ones you're made out of? I can't remember. <laughs> she was explaining it to me. Do you know who it was? Isabel, Isabella Miotti's sister, Alex. Oh. Alexa? Alex. Yeah. Alexa. Yeah. Alexa. But anyway, that's mm. why. Cool. We had a helper girl out. Was yeah. it really a helper girl out? They no, just, it was just a question. Just a genuine question. Um, and it was, what would make you swipe immediately left? Is left cancel or right? Left is cancel. You- you don't want to swipe right. That's yes, hey. Swipe right. Like, yeah, like, I'm gonna swipe this right. This is swipe left. This is swipe right. Yeah, so left is bad. Yeah, so I don't want you. I, I think so. You. So it would make you immediately swipe left. So yeah. bad. Okay. I'm an old man. Yeah. Um, gym selfie. Yeah, or like you can tell when the profiles are fake. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like they're just like a robot or like some old someone catfishing. Mm. Mm. Um, car photos. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 
I feel like we're probably all going to be the same. Yeah. Car photos, shirtless selfies. Oh, you know what? Shit quality pictures. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. it's 2022. You and know how like, to take a damn photo. If you have an oh, Android. Then, probably for me because I'm, I'm not a... Yeah. Also, I feel like for girls, like if you're just constantly using filters, stop. Oh, the snap. Remember when yeah, the everyone... Snapchat filters. Oh, like, I'm sorry. Snapchat that filters. That is the shittest profile yes. I've ever, like, you, like, you could ever have. And, like, you, you mean, can like, the tell. The ears well. and shit. Yeah, ears or, can... like, even if it's, like, got the flowers and yeah. you've got the blur Or even that freaking... There's this one that everyone uses on fucking Instagram. It's, like, angel face or, I don't know, or baby face angel or baby something. Face something. Oh, and it's, like, they upload like the photo mm. and it's just, like, we know that's why. Like, like we, we know you don't look like that. We know you don't look like that. Honestly, reckon it's gotten to a point where people just do it because everybody knows it's a filter so they just don't care yeah anymore. that's fair yeah, enough that's i fair. get that like everybody I still knows couldn't do it filter, though i still so. couldn't do it <laughs> i know look i could keep going we didn't even talk about what our goals are for the podcast <laughs> that's next week's episode yeah we'll talk yeah. about that next week um but yeah it's good to be back guys uh if uh, it feels cool i, I like it the reason why we keep walking is because we're just sitting here because we have ADHD no because we're just sitting back <laughs> and like we know the audio sounds good no yeah. one's like having to whereas that before is so we true. had one mic and we had to make sure that we all were heard yeah that's true yeah this is gonna be cool we're excited I'm we're so happy excited. to be back man we we're... can do so many episodes like yeah. now that we don't do shit on the week well not this month anyway yeah but like when we don't do things on the weekend we can just be like fuck it let's do an episode mm. yeah. someone sponsor us this year please sponsor <laughs> us mm. Sorry, so we can quit really our jobs and do this full time oh fuck mm. it would be good that would be fun the content would just be amazing it would be like if we had so much free, you know what we could get up to if we had so much free time to work <laughs> <laughs> sit on the couch and watch TikTok. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway thank yeah. you guys for watching welcome back happy new year everyone <laughs> stay <laughs> safe yes and um like subscribe follow um we do have our spotify playlist still which mm-hmm. i think actually has a few likes not gonna lie and I was thinking of doing another playlist, like a chill like, one or something, like a girls' one, girls' oh, yeah. night, because we all of our music on a girls' night is fucking killer. Yeah, we are lit. But anyway, that's another big day. But so yeah, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Bing bong. Bing bong. <laughs> Fuck your life. <laughs> Joe, bye.